on. There you go. Okay, we're gonna go for a ride through the campground and we got Marianne and Tim Hamilton. My wife Donna here, she's doing the video. And we got their three doggies who are pretty well behaved. They're very good. I got them. Okay. I got them. And so that you don't think this is just a, a video about cruising through the campgrounds, I'm gonna tell you one of my cop stories that they've never heard before. And I just thought of it the other day because it's, it's kind of funny. There was these two brothers in my sector. This was down in Holiday, Florida. And they were doing all kinds of burglaries and car burglaries and home burglaries. They were causing me a lot of paperwork. But one day I get a Hold call. On, honey. I get a call from this kid who says that these two brothers beat him up and took his sneakers. And they were like, I don't know. Jordan the air sneakers whatever they are uh, over a hundred bucks but because they beat him up and took his sneakers that's a strong arm robbery it's it's a serious felony you're gonna go to prison for that especially with their records the only problem was they lived across the county line which was in Pinellas County I'm working in Pasco and they're only about a mile over the line but in order to it's a lot of paperwork you'd have to call a deputy down there you'd have to first swear out the warrant the deputy would go there he'd knock on the door they wouldn't come to the door so i knew what the story was so i got a brainstorm i said what i'm going to do is this is about probably nine o'clock at night i call the house and i asked for one of the brothers and he answers the phone and i said look this is what's going on i got this kid who said that you beat him up and stole his sneakers oh no no i didn't do it i said well here's the thing this is no big deal if you just bring the sneakers back the kid said that he wouldn't press any charges so he goes really i says yeah and i you know i don't like paperwork so if you just bring the sneakers back here i'll give them to the kid that's all you got to do and we can forget the whole thing he says but where are you i said well i'm in our substation in holiday i'm, I'm about a mile from from where your house is i could come down to your house but then i gotta arrest you but if you just come here with the sneakers no problem. He says, well, I don't have a car or anything. I says, you're like a mile away. You're a kid. You should be able to jog here in 10 minutes. He says, all I got to do is bring the sneakers to you at the substation. That's it. Yeah, yeah. The kid will sign a waiver of prosecution. He just wants his $100 sneaker. He really liked those sneakers. So the kid says, well, okay. I said, well, I tell you what. I'm going to time you because I'm just going to be here a few minutes. You got 10 minutes to get here with the sneakers. It's about, oh, nine, 10 minutes later. Here he comes knocking at the door of the substation. I open the door. He's got the sneakers in his hand. He's all out of breath. He says, here's the sneakers back. Now, now he's going to forget the whole thing. It's all over. I say, uh, no. And I arrest him. The kid says, well, you said that if I brought the sneakers. I said, I know. I lied to you. Isn't that something you hate to be lied to, don't you? Yeah, well, this isn't right. You can't do this. I said, well, I'm doing it. And uh, you can beat the rap, but you can't beat the ride. And I took him to jail. A few days later, just for the hell of it, I called his house again because I wanted to get his brother. He was involved in it. And the brother says, oh, I'm not as stupid as him. You think I'm going to run down to you so I can go to jail? I said, well, I was hoping so. He said, no way. So, of course, I had to get a warrant from him. And his brother did rat him out and admitted that he was helping him uh, beat the kid up so they could steal his sneakers. So that's my, my cop story for today. We'll call this Motor Man's Cop Story Part 2. Get some scenery out here. This is really beautiful. This is uh, lakefront property here. And it is a huge trailer park. What's the name of this? Is Holiday Lakes? Is it Holiday RV Resort? Harlo Holiday, Holiday RV Resort. If you're, if you're in the Leesburg area, I highly recommend it. Like I said, they don't gouge you for Leesburg Bike Fest. They got everything here you could possibly need, and it's a beautiful place. We're lucky tonight because it's kind of cool. Usually, the start of Leesburg it gets to 95 degrees, but today it was about 82, 83 degrees. There was a breeze blowing. It was nice and cool, very dry. Tomorrow, the whole the party is over. It's going to get into the 90s according to the weather. The humidity is going to come up, and we're done for six months. It won't drop below 90 degrees until about November 1st. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed the story and the little ride I took, y'all.